um, Ivan, Kotick, Koitik, um, Kotick, uh, that he exuded on screen. It just wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't a pre-production, man. We could have we could have made it so cool because there are a lot. He's a he is very good on his feet. There is no doubt about that. But it wasn't the the action pieces weren't so overly good that I forgave everything else. Um, towards the end, we we pick it up in terms of a little bit of the old ultra violence. Um, but the, but but not enough. Not enough to save it for me. I just kind of felt like very similar to uh, Crazy Samurai 400 versus 1, where it was just like, hey, man, let's call 40 of our friends. Uh, we'll get a camera, and you just, we, we play fight for an hour on film. And because cameras are so small these days, and you don't have to worry about the cost of film because shooting on digital ain't shit. It's not enough for me. So, but I mean, like I get it, but by that logic, if you're just going to start releasing like lazy pieces like this, where it's just like, well, you know, we, we got an iPhone and it takes really good video and we did a lot of post audio. That was another issue I had with this. So the thing's in Russian and, uh, there's only two audio tracks on the physical copy both are Russian, just the 2.0 channel, 5.0, nobody cares. But my point is, is that the audio didn't even sync up with the actors who are Russian. And I, and you can tell there was a lot of post done, especially the one girl in this. Um, they did a lot of post audio. And again, as a seasoned viewer, and I know, I know that's not what a lot of you are here watching this for. I get it. I totally understand. But for somebody like me, we have to take a little bit more time. Otherwise, I'm going to be annoyed, you know? And I was. There was a couple of times where they were hitting 8, 9, and 10s, scale 1 through 10. Uh, their actor was hitting fever pitches, you know? They, they're getting upset or angry or whatever, and they are being asked to reach the 8, 9, 10. And maybe on set they did, but when you're listening to the audio, watching it in the comfort of your own home, and the the intensity on the actors' faces, actors and actresses' faces, isn't matching the audio, well, <laughs> it's, it takes me out of the movie. It takes me out of the movie. And I'll be goddamned if I watch something, you know, uh, what was I watching the other day? My mom came back. Or came over to my place and I was watching Kingdom, which I started on Netflix. It's that uh, Korean zombie action esque show, six episodes a piece. Anyway, I was watching that and she's like, "What the fuck audio is this?" And I was just like, "Well, it's Korean," and uh, I could never watch something with American dubbing if I can avoid it. You know, it's, it, it, you want to you want a prime example of just how much dubbing can have an impact on the overall tone of the film by the raid um, or Russia, yeah, but by Russian raid too, but by the raid, watch the movie um, uh, start to finish in Indonesian and then immediately play it back and use the English dubbing. And I will fight you if you think that that is the same movie or feels like the same movie. I will fight you. So, um, just an audio <laughs> issue I had <laughs> with with Russian Raid, where I was just like, Ugh. and and to the point of the audio. Um, so sometimes when I go to see an action film, uh, it's a film at the end of the day, right? It's make believe. So some things need to be sensationalized. Some things need to be exaggerated. Some I need to hear a punch occasionally, not always. Like again, like when when you when you choose to do this, does like you you got to be smart about it. You know, I guess a prime example would be like the Ip Man films. When Donnie Yen hits someone, it sounds like fucking someone just took like a ball bat to the chest or something. Like it's very very sensationalized, which is fine because it works for that piece. In Russian Raid, everything is toned down. It is it is very like I, I in 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 to some respects. Just so we're clear, 
it's admirable. I understood what they were trying to do, and I didn't mind it. It definitely wasn't a drawback on the film. If you didn't have some of the other things that I aforementioned that were problems, you know what I'm saying? Like, like if we would have had a better story, we would have had a little bit more pre-production and, and better cinematography, and we would have took our time a little bit more in setting up these action pieces, then I could give a fuck if a punch to the chin sounded like a freight train hitting a body. You know what I'm saying? Like, obviously I'm exaggerating, but that's kind of the point. They... I, I I would respect the fact, well, when somebody gets punched in the face, it doesn't sound like that. It sounds like this. It's just a very, you know, it it just sounds like meat, meat hitting meat. And I, and I get that. And that's fine. That's totally fine. It makes it more realistic. But you can't, then, then fine. The story has to be better if you're going to downplay a lot of those. You know, like they say, like in, uh, in MMA, um, when you see someone take a kick to the leg, there's always two types of sound. There's that very loud slap, which hurts. Of course it does. But if there is minimal to no sound at all, that means that it was all muscle and it hurts significantly worse than the one that you, uh, that where there was a big slapping sound, like a definite impact sound. So, and but here's the thing. Not all people know that. Some people are just action film fans. They're not fucking real mixed martial art combat fighting fans like you know unfortunately i have been both for a very long time i say unfortunate because i the older i get i realize that the whole like gladiator <laughs> mentality that i mean that's some white man just f- generations of you know beat over your head subconsciously that a man needs to be the strongest and blah blah, blah. you know what i'm saying let's not get political here but um, unfortunately for the, the filmmakers of this particular film, you're not, I, the, the, you know, I, one or the other, bu- 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 boys, you got to give me one or the other. And, and we didn't. So see this film. I, I, I feel like I've banged on it for, for a long time. See the film just to familiar, uh, familiarize yourself with this Ivan Kotick. Cause I think. Um, you know, pending if he picks up English or wherever he decides to go. I think he, I mean, he's got a good face um, for cinema. Uh, he moves really well for action cinema. And um, I, I do think that he has a future in films. Um, so, I mean, see it on that, based on that alone. Or, you know, always watch, I'm always interested in seeing what you guys, you know, that's why social media is a blessing and a curse. On the one hand, sometimes I'm I'm not interested in hearing what you have to say. On the other hand, for pieces like this, and and for that matter, Crazy Samurai that I talked about um, a couple weeks back, I would would love to have dialogues about this, and maybe I'm overlooking something, you know. Um, I, I, to me... Russian raid would be you would you would have to spend more time convincing me than say you would uh, crazy samurai, but you know I I just want these films supported because I I think the masses don't understand that if you don't rent this if you don't buy this I mean movies are already on thin ice I think in terms of quality of product that we're going to get released between the amount of avenues um, that you can put this up on and how cheap it can be visually to shoot some of this stuff I just think we're going to see a slow slide into a product that's just not what it could be so um, but here's the thing. What's to say that, you know, we, and by we, I mean the critics and the people that, that talk about these films and that promote these films, what's to say that Russian Raid 2 wouldn't be awesome because it got a lot of buzz about it and people went out and rented it and bought it and da 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 Now they have money to film or to pursue a second installment of Russian Raid. Like, that's why I tell... I got a couple people that I work with, they they pirate everything. And I'm just like, 
you love Marvel movies so much, or you love WandaVision so much, which, by the way, WandaVision was really, really good. Um, you love this stuff so much, but you don't pay for it. And then you're the same whiny little fucking nothings that will complain because there's either a slip in quality of product or you're not getting a conclusion to what you felt you needed a conclusion to, you know? It would be like... It would be like the equivalent to if a bunch of people ripped Infinity War and ultimately it took a hit on, um, it, let's just say everybody, let's just say 50 million people watched Infinity War. 49 million people pirated Infinity War and then you didn't get Endgame. You know how upset you would be? <laughs> you know how upset you would be so um you know by promoting and talking about films like these what's to say that the second one wouldn't be better because i will watch ivan kotick i i i I may not seek him out like a Tom Hardy or a Donnie Yen or, you know, maybe not to that level. But once your name is stored in my dumb data bank that I call my brain, once it's stored, I I mean, I'll I'll watch your stuff. I'll watch your stuff. I'll remember talking about you on the show. Um, I may not remember what I said about you on the show. I'm finding that out more and more. A lot of people DMing me or texting me. Do you remember when you said? No, I don't. No, I certainly do not. <laughs> I'm sorry. I do not remember that. Well, you should listen back to it. And I listened back to it. And I don't know. I think people expect a different response from me. I was like, yeah, I listened to it. Yeah, I did say it. Well, why did you? Doesn't matter, bro. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Nobody cares. Life is meaningless. God is dead and we're all alone. I don't know if I believe in that. but Or believe that. But, um, <laughs> I just support this film. Well, go USA. Releasing Russian Raid, which is out, like I said, now. It's out now. Um, Support it so we can see some more. I wouldn't mind seeing what Ivan brings to the table a little bit. It didn't say that he was an action choreographer on it, but I'm sure he added his two cents. Um, Gonna make me want to see it more. Well, go USA. Russian Raid, out now. Out now. March 9th. Out now. Um, I did a lot of podcasts for other people's shows recently. That's what I was referring to. Six shows. Five or six shows in three days. Um, Make sure you support those guys when they come out. Like, don't listen to it. You know, don't only listen to the episode that I was on. Make sure you, you know, show some love to I Know Movies and You Don't and Heather Loves Horror and from the depths podcast you know show those guys some some love they need the listens too even if you just set it to your queue you don't listen to it but it gets that play you know show those guys um a little bit of love so um russian raid out now ellis cinema podcast oh got some fun ones around the corner we gone